Hello everyone. I have to set up Google as usual. Yeah, it seems I'm broadcasting. So hello, I'm uh, Istvan again. I'm a graphic designer. If you never saw my live drawings, it's about me drawing in Inkscape, which is an amazing vector graphical program. If you never got Inkscape before, it's like Illustrator or Corel. So you can draw in vector and create any shape you want in any color you want. and it's amazing. So what I will draw today is a troll and a princess, a cat princess, if it's possible. I, I don't know. I will see. Because two of my friends are getting married in September, and I create them a last-minute illustration for their wedding invitation. And uh, so I already, so this is for you guys. I know you are watching. And these are the color palette I created. Usually I don't. It's just I was playing around with the color of the troll. Uh, as you know, in Inkscape, it's very easy to match some colors. So what I did, I had these two little boxes, and I wanted to color a new one for myself. So I made a third box, selected it, got the color picker, and I was trying to experiment the different type of green. Is it browner? Is it greener? You know, you just hold the mouse button and create your color. So yeah, this is another nice version. It's uh, did you guys ever notice that the, all the Ninja Turtles are four different type of olive green? I think you can. This is how they create the color. Now, so back to what I want to do. I have a little sketch just next to me on a paper. Lately, a lot of people ask me on on uh, YouTube and also on Udemy if I'm doing uh, sketches on paper or not, and. Uh, Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. For me, sketches are something very free. And oh, what I figured lately, what is good, I don't know if you see this. I turn off the page border because I don't need it. So what I do usually is I do a little sketch just to get my mind right. And then I look at it sometimes, but I don't scan it usually. So I just have more or less the figure in my head. So this time, a troll standing and holding a princess in his arm. And this is a love story, of course. As you see, the tool picked up the last used color. So this green, I will go, I will go with this green now. So. Because this is a drawing on demand, usually in the live drawings, I'm just drawing for myself. So I stop in a, between 40 minutes and an hour. Uh, this time I draw for my friends. So if it's finished, I finish it. It's not really finished because I don't know if they're going to like it, if they want to change anything. Guys, don't change too much. I have so much work. <laughs> All right. So I. On the sketch, I, I made something nice. I really like the, how the leg came out. I know it seems kind of broken, but. Okay. okay. It's a big guy with a thin leg. I mean, this is not how my friend looks like, but for me, a troll is something like this. I just looked up something interesting about what is the difference between a troll and an ogre. And uh, there is some differences. Ogres are bigger and more of a mythical creature, more of a monster. As trolls are closer to humans, still a monster, but they are not eating human and they are closer to human. At least this is what I could find online. Thank you, Wikipedia. And because I'm playing a lot of video games, I had my own idea about what the troll looking like, but I just wanted to be sure that I'm not drawing an ogre, you know. So I just have the basic shape of the guy and how he will have hands here. Let's say hand here. Just color it differently just to make it visible and here and the hand come back and the hand here oh, maybe even bigger it can be just for holding the princess okay 
And the princess will be somewhere around here. Of course, the skirt is coming. So I want it looking like this. And she will have some nice princessy colors. I know I will recolor it to white or anything. I just want it to be visible now. So I make the ogre a bit less belly. Okay, I make the leg also here like this. You see, I'm just double clicking and adding points on this good. This leg can be a bit thicker as well. Good. I hate it when I cannot grab the note. Come on. It's 40 degrees here. It's a bit hard to focus. Okay. I will fix this part of the leg, so don't be afraid. Um, yeah. So the head goes here. And. Okay, nice. Mm, it's too much of a leg. Too much cough. See, when it's too detailed, I just remove some points. So it sometimes happens I'm drawing something, then later I delete. It doesn't matter. All right, too much time with the leg. Just want it to be funky. I had such a nice line on the... Hey, that's it. All right, that's it. Just had such a nice line in the sketch and I just want to grab that one. Good. So you see, sketches are there to help, but I'm not always uh, scanning and taking care that much. A lot of people do, and that's fine with them. But for me, that means that I did the creative part of the work uh, while I was doing the sketch. And after that, I just slavishly finished it up in Inkscape, which I don't like to think because I like to work in Inkscape. I don't. I use the inf interface. Now I'm just control clicking the edges, so I'm making some bands and stuff. So I'm using the interface while I'm having fun. I'm not even noticing I'm working in the program. So the point I want to make is that if I'm scanning a sketch and work on that one instead of okay, here is one arm. So if I'm just doing a sketch and work on that, instead of uh, you lose, having a loose sketch and drawing it up in Inkscape, I'm uh, losing my ability to, I think, to be creative and have as much of a fun in Inkscape as I really want to have. Hope you guys understand what I mean. Okay, this is the shoulder of a princess, although it looks like a weird spaceship. So if it's, I hope the guys will like it. It's if it's not perfect, I will fix it up. Uh, yep. Just for now, I remove these. Yeah. Uh, 
Aman. Okay, it has to state the guy not gonna be naked. So just wanted to get the main proportions and everything ready. Just push number one on the keyboard to zoom into the view when everything is in the screen. And as you learned from me so many times, what I'm doing, I'm just duplicating, duplicating my objects when I'm not 100% ready or sure how it's gonna look. And what will happen, I just made the troll a bit chunkier and I will make him a bit bigger so the princess is smaller but he is as you see I pushed him to uh, I squeezed him even more so he is more wide than he was before yeah and as the the princess will appear a bit smaller and I also take care that she will be smaller a bit I like the the idea is that I can say that the princess is, the troll is someone who is rough but has a heart and the princess is someone who is very delicate. So I think if I can get this message through, then the guys will be happy. Okay, fine. Get the arm up here. Okay, it's an extremely long arm. So I have to flip the back of the princess. So she is showing the back. Then this one is not visible. This other arm going around. Yep, a bit nicer. What I want to make now is that the princess is laughing or smiling and throwing her hair back or something like that. And this is the dress. So you see, objects are well under each other. Ah, much nicer with the one. And also, this guy should it have a shirt or not? Mm. Just checking the Google Hangouts. Okay, if there is any question, you can ask it here on the side in the Google Hangout. And that's it. I will, if I will see, I will check time to time and I answer. That's why I like live drawing because a lot of people visiting my courses on Udemy ask. A lot of people just don't, they are fine on their own. And this means they are amazing uh, or I am an amazing teacher and they don't need any more explanation. <laughs> Uh, but the thing is that a lot of people like to ask on the flow. So if you have any question, uh, Istran, how did you bend this? How did you do that? How did you do that? How do you make the colors? Just ask away, okay? Because that's I know it's, it can help you a lot. For example, what I did now, I just go back with Ctrl Z because I like the hand more like this, how it was. And I'm just gonna make it a little looking like it has muscles, but Not much. So I just bend it, but I made the bend so small. You see that it's a corner, but it's not. So I will go here. Good. So I'm doing this for about 10 15 minutes now, and I'm getting some weird shapes. And I'm having some results, which is good.
Was there any type of no, no darker green? Mm, I will use these colors. I'm not necessarily using them, but I will keep them. Uh, so what I do is that I want a darker one, but I want it a bit more green. Good. So as you see, I'm matching the colors. I try to get the same colors as I had here. And he's happy. I have to make a little detail. I will fix it later on. I just want to give it a tooth. Sorry, this is very ogre for me. And I have to make the eyes. And they are darker green as well, darker than the line of the mouth. So what I have here, I already have a guy looking with a smile on his princess. And I will make some nice thick eyebrows. Okay, here I'm getting the shape from this. Uh, I think the ogre is gonna be half naked maybe, and the guy is gonna have a trouser for sure, which is gonna be some shorts. So I switch to wireframe view, I check how big the shorts have to be, I select both of the objects, and I go to object, and da, 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 uh, no, sorry, path, and division. What division does is exactly this. It's like the what the magician does with the soul and the lady in the box. I just recolored some part of the drawing as it was one shape and now it's three different shapes and I have the trousers ready and I can put them on the top. I will send them back in a minute, relax. Just want to fix it. See, and I just fixed that it's covering. It's, it's, it's matching. Okay, as here, it's for example, it's not covering, so I can see it's there is a tiny mistake, so I just put it down there. And I can check everything is under the, where it has to be. So here, the body and the other leg is just under the sleeves. I can give it a color. I can also give it a color later. And something hmm, maybe like this. I will see. It's again a dark uh, greenish bluish thing. And what I like to have is a uh, some boots. I know it's just I did it in one line, but I more or had in my head what I want to do. Okay, this one seems standing rather good. This one not, so I have to turn the elements. Yeah, and this one is a bit down. I try to do not, I try to make it not looking like Shrek because Shrek is supposed to be an ogre and I know it's green and blah blah blah. And they will say it's like Shrek, but it's not. So, yeah, that's good.
this is the back i can give it see i do the same matching with the dress as i did with the as i did with the dress with the troll good Just to make it okay, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, here something is not perfect. I hope this is what you guys had in mind. Um, maybe a little bit. Brown, huh? like this brown. No, this one. Yep. There's different type of browns and greens and he has a weird short on, I know, but we will see how it ends up. Okay, I'm sure that the princess will be the legs has to come up and the hand will go here yes much better okay i if i know this then i can give a bat to my troll just to have my fun okay something is not it was transparent for a second. Okay, so he gets a bell. A bell, sorry. I love to do actually little belts and accessories and such. Okay, now it's time to group. And what I want to group is the princess with the hands, goes to one group, comes to the top, and everything else down under it is the troll. As you see, turn, turn, turn. And I duplicate again, because I'm gonna make some changes to the head of the troll. Try to figure out how to make this eyes Looking like he's he's happy. Yep. And the same goes here. Oh, and I just remember this is birthday today also. So <laughs> happy birthday. I mean the guy who I'm drawing this for. <laughs> I 
<sighs> Does it need a nose or not? Definitely needs a nose. I'm just not sure about the shape yet. And now my favorite part is coming, creating some gradients with the gradient tool just to make things. Just to make things more visible. So this one I did now just so there is a nose, but it's not really uh, hanging out as much as before. No, not this one yet. Okay, if the face is there, then the ears are somewhere here. How we're gonna make it visible is, guess what, another gradient. So, too much, too little, still too little. Okay, you see what I did is just a tiny gradient there, but, no, it's okay. No, but the ears visibly out, and then I just make the inside look like an ear a bit. I know it's not anatomically correct, but guess what? It's a little cartoon. I have anatomical knowledge, which I sometimes use. Like I just did some superhero illustrations for a Scottish company and I had to be kind of anatomically correct. But this is my ogre, so I don't care much about anatomical details of the human friends. Okay. Nice. Does it have to have a little hair? Do I give it a, uh, some hair to the ogre? Uh, <laughs> it looks funny, but I don't know. And my friend has a beard and a ponytail. That would be also nice to add. Just roughly, just I want to see how it looks. Looks a bit like Street Fighter and a bit like the head of Davy Crockett. So I put it aside. I usually do this, I duplicate, I put aside. So you can see where we started from and where we are going. And I'm not really good with drawing women. As you might guess, but I'm quite good with drawing ogre and strange male characters. Okay. I merge these two. Delete some. So you just have some fun with the dots on the skin of the troll. Because probably he has some. Like, uh, if he has this green skin, I imagine he has some dots like, uh, is it like a bullfrog? So I guess I will keep him half naked this time. Uh, 
Okay. I need to fix the hands. I need to fix the lady, the head of the lady. And of course, I have to fix the dress and add some little details. Not much more. I'll just merge it. Try to figure out how to make a proper laugh for her. Without making it too much. So I'm just, as you see, I'm just adding and subtracting all the time. Okay, give her a proper chin. It looks a bit like babies and butthead, uh, but I will fix that. Because if this is the height of the head, So don't be alarmed, I'm just drawing a rough shape of the head. And opposing the neck of the ogre, I want to make it, or troll, I want to make it a uh, Uh, thinner. Okay, and what will happen is that I move the face a bit upper. Make a proper skull, like really proper but i don't care much because what i will do is move the nose a bit out there is these parts okay See, I'm using that I'm selecting a lot of nodes. And if you turn on this icon, you it's showing transformation handle for nodes. So I can select a lot of nodes. And you see the arrows are there, like uh, if I'm selecting an object. And that's it. I can move the object up and down. So in this type, I can move the head up and down. So what I will do is I just give her some hair. Because it's warm here like hell. I don't know which part of the world you are guys, but here it's summer in Hungary. What I do now is just what I usually do. I'm having a rough shape and then I'm just control clicking to make the nodes from corners to curves. 
So I'm getting uh, this one. Okay, what I see, what I did, the head of the lady is just super tiny, so. I can select two objects and even do this with two objects. I hate it. In this Inkscape, the newest one, uh, sometimes you can move and turn or scale the parts of the drawing so it can be quite annoying i don't say it's bad i just say it has some little tiny issues it's much faster than previously that's for sure Just checking something with the alpha transparency is not all right. Okay, that's um, still some weird head. figuring out the length of the neck. As it is a princess, it needs a tiara. I just let this rest a bit and then I finish it. I will draw a tiara and I will fix the shape of the head here. It's not touching you, but it's nicer this way. I think I will take to do. So again, I duplicate. And what I did wrong, that I was inside the group when I duplicated. So I didn't duplicate the princess. Just everything outside. So we are getting there. And... What I give, I like this, so downside, she's, she looks like the smartest, but if I do it like this, she looks, looks like someone who is very happy. I go back in.
Or maybe I make the hair like really big. What about that? So it's a very princessy. It happens a lot of times that I draw something painstakingly and then I just cover it up. Okay, I'm getting there. If she's turning that way, this is the back side of the tiara, so I can make the front side as well. She will be lighter. And group it up. I will fix that later. some curliness Is everyone on holiday? I think it is because there are no more questions, not much. Usually there are a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, not a lot, at least five. <laughs> All right. Hair is, hair is curly enough now. Let's add some more details. For example, let's make it more womanly here. And the nose is coming in, the forehead is coming in. No, it's not coming out that much. Yeah, I just fix the hands. And what I'm gonna do is have some big, big, big hands. Just made the dress colored so I see what I'm doing.
Okay, it can have a little finger too. Now I fix this hand. Just make it more visible. Okay, this red dress is not bad at all. It's good for me because I see what I'm doing. Sorry if I'm not talking much, it's like really I'm fighting for air. And I promise I will make also a faster version of this video. I'm getting a bit um, satisfied, so I mean, starting to have the result I want. I'm getting there, sanitize the two different hands, that's good. She's holding the princess, that's even better. And I will make the dress a bit higher. Because, oh my god, it's like... You know, just checking time to time, you see what I'm doing. Okay, what I do here is I get the dark one, I make it semi transparent, and I put it here. So the hands are, this one is definitely not big enough. Maybe she can have some flowers in the hand, I don't know, I will see. And what I want to add now more is a bit fixing the hair still. Fine. And I can add some color to the hair.
okay. And also one of my favorite part of drawing hair is like drawing the shines on it, which is quite simple. Especially if you have the tool so much correction like we have in Inkscape. So yeah. Shiny. You can have some shiny too. Like a you know shiny forehead. Okay, and I decided to make him a little more, a little more charming, I mean the ogre. Give him a proper Schwarzenegger jaw. Just a light one. <laughs> yeah, much better. And to help this jaw stand out, I make a shadow under it. And some armpit. I think it has to be somewhere here. Yeah, the other one is around here because the chest muscle. Breast muscle is flexing. And now this seems tiny details, but believe me, it helps. Okay, this was out of the picture. That's good. I just check it's this is a group you see still. And the other part is another group. Let's fix this thing. If I do it like that, I don't even need that. What I need though, okay, now it's time to duplicate. So we are getting there, guys. Start it from here. Just remember always save or set an auto save for Inkscape, but I like to save myself. I like to make it a habit. So we started from here, very basic. Then we came to here, add some more details, covered up the parts which are messed up with the hair. Okay, that helps. I'm not a magician. I have to cover up my tracks. Or actually, maybe I am a magician because this is what magicians do. And you just make this belly a bit inner. Like this, yeah. Seems like a very lucky guy. Okay, so that's fine. 
this one here a bit more higher we'll give some more details on the body and fix this part in the, in the arm still very long arm i know i know i know maybe i will i don't need to move this one Yep. On the time mistake. So I just moved him a bit inner, moved her actually a bit more to the inside so I can make the arm better. See it was very long here so compared to this one just grab the arm from here so you see what I did. It's much longer. Okay, and this hand also can move a bit. That's fine. So I just save and duplicate it. I like to duplicate because I see the how things are changing. And also because here, I want to make it I did, I just moved the line of the mouse a bit. So it's not like a big lip. The lip is forming here, and this is just the line between the, the lips. Yeah. You see the difference that the mouse is more sophisticated here. Do I need this tooth? Maybe not. <laughs> I will keep it, mate. I'm sorry. I have to I have to make some joke about you. Okay. A very handsome troll we have here and a little bit weird princess. I'm drawing for an hour now, so I will go have a rest, have some lunch. Ask my friends if they like it, if they want to change anything, and I hope they will like it. And you see, I duplicated a lot, so I could make variations, I could have some fun, I can decide on the color of the dress, I can do a lot of things. If it's like this, it looks like a mermaid, maybe it should be a mermaid. And so this is what I call the final now. And if it's white, I will work on it more, of course, for them, but this is as much as it fits in an hour. If it's white, then the background can be a blue, and then the dress and the figures are standing out nicely. Okay, so this will be kind of on the wedding invitation, we will see. Hope they have no problem with this. It's like this, it would be perfect to grow this part. 
Okay, I really go now and have some lunch. Uh, something very cold because, as I said, it's 40 degrees here and everyone is suffering and I have no air conditioning. So this is what I call a final for now. Uh, have fun, guys. If you have any questions about Inkscape, uh, please let me know. Ah, the offer is not good. Uh, follow my courses on Udemy and follow me on Facebook as Pesto Design. All right. Have fun. Cheers.